Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. And in this episode, we'll be talking about functions. So if we go back to our script that we created here, oh, actually, no, uh, we're, we're not going to use the script that we used in the last video. We're going to create a new script. Okay, so on the right side of the Explorer, uh, let's just highlight our property changes script that we created in the last video and go down here to to disable and we're going to disable our script here so that it's not going to run uh with with this new script that we're about to create so in the workspace let's hit the plus sign and we'll create the script just like usual we'll we will rename this to let's just call this functions okay before i tell you about functions let's imagine this scenario so let's say that we're working with a script that has multiple lines of code that do the same thing and we want to do it over and over again let's say we want to modify the the game's base plate so first what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable that um, references the, the workspace's base plate. So we're going to say my base plate, or you could just call this variable whatever you want to. Uh, and then we're going to set this equal to the location of the base plate, which is game.workspace.baseplate. And now what we're going to do down here is we, let's say we want to do a series of lines where we change the transparency of my base plate. So we're going to say my base plate dot transparency equals zero. And then we're going to drop a line saying my base plate dot transparency equals 0 0.5. And then again, we're going to do my base plate dot transparency equals one. So we have these three lines of code. Now, what if we wanted to, to run these same three lines of codes again? So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these three lines here, and then we're going to hit control C to copy these three lines. And then we'll just drop two lines down here and then we'll hit control V to paste our copied code. And then we'll just keep doing this over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you can tell that this code is looking very unorganized. It became very unorganized very quickly and it just looks like a complete mess because these are the same three lines of code that we want to keep running over and over again because of like some some functionality, some script that requires us to do the same thing again and again. So obviously this is not the way to go about it. We're not just gonna write the same three lines of code again and again because that's just gonna make things look really messy. So this is where functions come in. Functions are a very useful coding practice to use. If we want to execute the same lines of code, without having to repeatedly type them out every single time. So let's just delete most of this right here. And let's start by actually writing the function. So what we're going to do down here is we're going to type in the keyword function like this, and then we're going to hit us and then we're going to hit space. What we're going to do is we're going to type the name of the function and this name can be whatever we want the name to be. So it's kind of like a variable name. We could just call this function to be whatever function we want to call it. So we'll call this change base plate transparency. That's what we're going to call it. So now we have the name of the function here. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in the open parenthesis and Roblox will automatically put in the close parenthesis right here. So once we have the function keyword and the name of the function and also the open parenthesis and close parenthesis, what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter. Now you see what happened is that it dropped a new line and there's a little indentation here in this new line and Roblox automatically put in an end keyword here. So what this means is, is that Roblox has made it so that we, we declared the function up here and then here is the end point of where the function is going to end. So then everything we type inside of here is going to be called in whenever we call in this function. Like anything that's written inside of here is going to run. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, these lines of code up here. We're just going to hit control X to cut them so that it'll be saved to our clipboard. And then down here, we're going to hit control V to paste in the code that we just that, that we just cut. So this is what a function looks like generally. So so if we go back to the game and then uh, hit play, we're going to expect this code to work, right? Wrong. It's not going to work because we 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 uh, because we created the function but we never actually called it. So that's why we're supposed to see the base plate change from zero to 0 0.5 to then uh, one. And one means that it's invisible, but we don't see that change. So the reason we don't see that change is because we didn't call the function. So what we have to do is not only do we have to create the function, but we also have to call it. So let's drop a few lines down here. And now what we're gonna do is to actually call the function, we're just simply gonna type in the name of the function itself. Just It's just called change 
base plate transparency. And so Roblox will automatically fill in the rest of the fill in the rest of the the function name and it'll also put in the open parenthesis and close parenthesis just like we did up here. So now if we go back to the game and hit play, uh, we should see the changes to the base plate like intended. Yeah, so now we see the changes here to the base plate because we actually went into our function so because we actually went into our script and we created the function and then we called the function here. So it pretty much works exactly as intended. Um, so, so now what we can do is we could just uh, drop a line and then we can type in change base plate transparency again, change base plate, base plate transparency again, change base plate transparency again. So as you can see, we're calling this function four different times. And essentially these four lines here are equivalent to these four lines down here. Both of these blocks of code do the exact same thing, but one of them is more organized than the other. And the reason that we make functions instead of just calling them explicitly, instead of writing them explicitly, it's because it's way more organized to create functions rather than type out every single line of code that we want to do as intended. It's also easier for readability for the developer to, to make it simple. We could just say change base play transparency. We don't have to write transparency equals zero, transparency equals five, transparency equals one to understand what these three lines of code do. We can just say change base play transparency and then the, the developer will be able to know exactly what this function does. So it helps with readability, it also helps with code organization, and that's and those two are the primary reasons why we should use functions and why they're helpful. So let's do another example. Now an easy way to, to copy all this code without having to drag it all uh, here is to type in control, is to hold control A to be able to select everything that's existing inside the script. And then we're just gonna hit backspace to delete it. Okay, so let's create another function. So with the keyword, let's type in function, and then we'll type in a function name. Let's call this print one, two, three. That's what we're gonna call this one. And then of course, don't forget about the open parenthesis and close parenthesis. We need these in order for it to be a function. So now we're gonna hit enter because Roblox is automatically gonna put in the end statement for us. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to type in print and then here we're gonna do the double quotations for a string and then we're going to print one. And then down here, we're going to do a print statement and then print two. And then down here, we're gonna do a print statement of print three. Uh, and then what we can do is we can uh, just drop a few lines down here and then we can call in the print statement again. Or no, no, sorry, not the print statement. And then down here, we can call in the function by saying print one, two, three. And then we'll just keep on doing this. We can like hit, we can highlight it, hit control, go down and then hit control V. We could just do this like a couple times here. And then we'll just go back to the game and then hit play. And so when we hit play here, uh, we should be able to see that one, two, three has been printed multiple times because we called print one, two, three multiple times. Like the function one, print one, two, three multiple times. So we did it twice just so that you can get some good practice creating a function and then calling it inside of your script. So now for the learning objective is I want you to create more functions that are like this. You can uh, use functions to repeatedly change properties of a part or you can make more print statements here or you could just create more variables uh, and have them do different things uh, if you want them to. So that's going to be it for this episode of Functions. I hope you found this episode helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.